afternoon guys, same process as there, there were mics on either side, there are no embargoes, so please raise your hands so let us know that you'd like to ask a question. We'll take, is there any Italian speaking media in the room? Okay, we'll hold until the end of the press conference if that's okay, we'll start with English. Do you to start please, Simon? Hi Pep, um, you've obviously been phenomenally successful in the Champions League in the old format. With the way that this competition has been restructured, do you have to look at the the eight games in a different way, or what what are you trying to do? Are you trying to finish top to get a seeding, or just a top eight, or how does it work? Win win our first game, and the second one, and see what happened in the last of the last games. Take a look, just like in the Premier League, it's not necessary to take the table right now. It will be in the future is win the first game and the next ones and after we see it for all of us is new so and maybe for more experience next seasons if we are lucky to play this competition so maybe we can read better what you have to do but normally in the past when you have success to go through in the group of stages we at home always we were able to win all the games except one year make the nine points it is what you have to do our games at home you have to try to yeah take the points otherwise Everything happened. Hi, Pep. Obviously, you had a very special night against Inter sort of 16 months ago. Do you feel that they're a better team now than they were then, Inter? It was a better team in that moment. It was a, it's a, it was a good team in that moment. It's a really good team right now. So, same manager. Simone knows how incredible patterns. And, you know, in Italy the last years, they were the best. So, in Italy, it's a always have been a, a tough, tough league, a lot of experience and so competitive and tomorrow will not be an exception. Have you watched that final back a lot of times? Yesterday, the first time, yeah. Sam? Um, Man City v Inter is, seems like exactly the sort of game UEFA would want for the, the start of this competition. Um, but some of the players are already talking about having to play extra games having sort of to play into January in this group stage, is that more kind of mentally difficult as well to plan for? I said many times, I don't think much about the future, about what happened in January and February or uh, what is the mental. So I don't know. I'm focusing and prepare well the game and, and try to win tomorrow. And after rest for days, Arsenal and Watford. And I don't think much, honestly. I always have been like that. So I, it's because I don't know what's going to happen not even tomorrow, it matches in January. Many things can happen, so I think in the modern football, modern sports, you have to handle the present and what is the next game and that's all. Dr. Pete, please. Pep, good afternoon, good to see you. Um, for a lot of City fans, that, that final back in, in, uh, in 2023 was, was a wonderful occasion. What, what's your most vivid memory of that night? Ball was nice, tight game. First half was much, much better than the second half. After goal, we have one clear chance to fulfill. They have a two clear, clear chances. The coin came in our side, could go to the other side. It's so nice to have. Inter have many Champions League, we have just one. So win it was, of course, a special. But if I analyze the game, it was so, so tight because I said in the days before the final, remember how tough is the opponent. Now the people believe me more because the people need to see really how strong they are. And uh, but it's not a final now. It's a game at home. We are not going to go to Milan. It's, it's completely different. And and with our people, try to you know our games at home to try to do it. How much inspiration perhaps will your players draw from that that wonderful night? Tomorrow. Sorry? How much, how much inspiration will your players draw from that night when they play into tomorrow? So I think they have to know what you have to do. They have, they have to adjust something because for the way they attack is, is so difficult to control. And, uh, and in that moment, I, about the inspiration, about the emotions, I think it's. I'm so cold on that. It's, it's the first game of the group of stage for the eight games, and after what happened in the future. So it's just. 
you know, tactically be present, what do you have to do? Sam, please. Hi, Pep. Um, I wanted to ask about Kevin De Bruyne, because obviously he had the difficult injury last season, and then he came back. A lot of assists, some games really good, some games not so good. But it seems like this season he started it as good as ever. How, how does he seem, how does he feel around the training pitch and games? Yeah, I agree. Uh, but it's the same with Erling in, the, in all the comments uh, after the game. So I said the season will start now and there are a lot of games. Of course, start really well, come back good, help us in, a, especially in the, in the Premier League games and, you know, in the competitions that, that we had. But I will see. So every three, four games, so cannot sustain in any player every 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 week. And uh, but yeah, I'm happy his mood is good and he's playing a good level. And in terms of Phil Foden, when he's back available for selection, should we expect him to be playing more in the central areas now, like at the end of last season, or yeah. could he still be used on the wing? Yeah, we have Gundo now back and have our players, but yeah, his position, you know, it's better. He's there. But when everybody's fit, the contention is tough and they have to compete, you know, for themselves to perform well. I want to rotate, but they have to prove when I rotate, they are ready to play. When they don't perform well, I rotate less. So, because the business here is win the next game and not because I am give presents for this player or the other one. I wanted everybody involved because it's the best way to put the injuries to be fresh and mentally, physicality, but they have to perform. Hi, Pep. Um, Erling has 99 goals uh, in 103 games for City. If he scores tomorrow, he'll beat Cristiano Ronaldo to be the fastest player to get to 100. I think Ronaldo got 100 goals in 105 for Real Madrid. What do those numbers say about Erling? Uh, and how much better can he get? Um, Akanji was talking at the weekend about him becoming an all-round player, involved in the game a lot more. But can you just talk about those, those kind of numbers? Because you've said in the past that yeah, those are the kind of Messi and Ronaldo numbers. Well, can you both? But if you tell me in the next 100 games, I score another 99 goals, for me it's fine. So if you don't want to improve, don't improve. The score the next 100 games, 99 goals, I'll be more than delighted. And City and all the organization for Man City as well. And I think for him as well. So, But uh, I think the experience playing game and game and game and game, they will improve. So it's difficult to improve when you don't play. So as much games he's going to play in this club, he will be a better player for a natural way, not because we, didn't, we say something special or he practiced something special in a natural way. Uh, are those numbers surprised you, though? Because you knew you were getting a, a, a goal scorer, a guy that was a, a great finisher. But have those numbers even surprised you? A little bit, yeah. Do you know why? I played 11. 11, 11 years as a professional, as a football player. I was a football player in the past, you know? I scored 11 goals. This guy in four goals scored nine. <laughs> <laughs> so have one more game, equalize me. So imagine, he surprised me. And uh, just on the improvement, um, Pep, in him, do you, do you sense there is that hunger and thirst in him to improve? He's, He's a player who just isn't satisfied. The difference of last season, he feels his body, his niggles and his tired and the night in his head, he feels better. I think the difference between this season and the previous one, or especially in the first season, I'm making incredible numbers, the year of the travel. Like he came from Dortmund with a lot of problems muscular in the first month, the struggle a little bit with the... So far, he feels, I'm clean, I feel good here and no problems. But what I said before with Kevin answer. So every three, four days, game, game, game. I don't know in one or two or three months time. So I don't expect so every single game a score three or two, three, two goals. So I don't expect that. But the moment that is going to happen, it's not a problem because I know the quality is there. But I think the difference of last season is what I said. Feels good, no problems. And when a player had not just him, all the players had that feeling. He can perform the, his best. Is that a bit worrying for opponents that he's still being able to hit those numbers, even though he's had injuries, missed two months last season, he's had niggles and problems to get with. No, he still he still got to that. The opponents will find will find a solution to control these numbers of goals, and we have to find the resolution to beat them, to find the way. But 
of course they are going to find, you know, and after when that's happened, it's because there will be more players over him, and now I have to create an environment around him to another player that scores goals. So, but hopefully he can continue his mindset positive and he can continue to help us. One more in English, guys, and we'll take some Italian. Paul? Hi, Pep. You'll have studied Inter's games, obviously, a lot this season. What, what in particular makes you think that they're such a, a dangerous team for you to face tomorrow? Inter? Yeah. First, it's a historical team, the incredible mentality. Uh, they are built to win every single game. They are created to win the competitions. Uh, last year's won a lot, and that means the mindset of the players that I'm able to do it. It's quite similar to us. And um, they have a good high pressing, almost man to man, similar to Brentford. And after they defend with the typical mentality in Italy that they have to suffer, I don't know how many, as much mean that they are not a problem. Strong team is at pieces, good, incredible qualities in the build ups with Bastoni, Chanaloglu. A Cherby Pavard, and after good guys coming for the second line, especially Varela, Mitikain as well, but especially Varela. Uh, I don't know if Di Marco will be fit, but every time crosses arrive with four or five players in the box, uh, yeah, complete team. You, you cannot win the, the Italian league or being in the positions in two years ago with the same manager, 90% of the players, the same ones, the final Champions League if you don't have something. You know, special.